Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First thing I'd like to uh, talk about a little bit is an extension of our conversation last week. And when we were exploring the Balni Kwa using a chair as our point of reference and um, using that as support in order to really get fine-tuned central equilibrium and feel the stability of our structure. So, uh, and everything coming from that. And uh, the one thing that I, I, I meant to actually talk about last time was, was a very simple exercise that I like to do, which is kind of a playful thing. And, um, and to, uh, it's something you can improvise anywhere, but it's, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. The, uh, frequently, you know, like I'll have a couple of cups of coffee or tea or my hands. And what I will do is I will step and try not to spill and bring my knee up and pause and then step and then kind of go like that and step some more and kind of stealthily walk across the living room or the kitchen and you're kind of playing with this. And so basically what you're doing is you're, you're getting comfortable in a very playful way with your single weighted posture and being able to control your, your motions, to be able to control your body and, and just to kind of explore this. So it's just a very simple exercise, a simple way of doing, oops, just dropped my coffee. Anyway, um, so we're not gonna play with that right now. We're just, I just wanted to put it out there as an idea. What we are going to do is, uh, as we're going to stand up and we're going to do the reclaiming lost territory exercises, the expanded version. And so this is something, uh, uh, a, a set that I uh, have been doing for a long time. And back in way back in the 90s, I, I did a video that was called Amrita. And uh, uh, that had a lot of the exercises then, and it, it's gone through various modifications over the, over the years. But what I'd like to do is to go through this and add in a whole bunch of the things that got edited out, not because they weren't useful, just because we need to, I felt a, a need to kind of shorten it enough to create some economy of time. So, uh, to begin, put your right foot forward and pick up your back heel. So you're, you're feeling the ball of your right foot. You're setting the knee. So this is really important. What we want to do is to be able to now really focus on releasing the quad. And since the, we mostly, most of us humans have a tendency to push away from the earth as a, as a default setting, we do that in a very subconscious, pre-conscious way. So what we want to do is to push away to, to take over that trance that we're in and then spiral down and turn. And so what we're doing here is without moving the knee, you're just focusing on the quad. You're releasing down and really feeling the support of your legs. And this is the most recent version of this exercise, which goes way back. And, um, but the, the primary idea here is to not to turn big, it's to release. We're using this as a way of, of doing just what I was talking about before there, that of, of really feeling stability. So you feel the ball, you set the knee, and with that stability of your, of, of your uh, supporting structure, you can then relax. So notice that my arms are just sort of hanging. They're just kind of they're just swaying in the breeze. They're, I'm not reaching, I'm not doing this, right? I'm not like that. That's another perfectly valid exercise, but it's not this one. 
And so now you're going to feel the ball of your, your left foot, pick up your front heel, your right heel, set your knee, your left knee, and push away and then spiral down and turn. So again, we're releasing the quad getting very soon. Settling down and ah, just nice and easy. And much more important that you relax and release and feel yourself sinking into the support of that structure. So it's a yin support. And feel yourself turning on that central pillar. Reach with the crown of the head so that you're, you're really feeling that central equilibrium. And notice where in your foot you're taking the, you know, the, the weight, where you're pivoting from. And ideally, you're pivoting from the ball of the foot. So, so now so put your left foot forward and pick up the, the right heel. So you're setting the, the left knee, push away and spiral down and turn. Nice and easy, very relaxed. Breathe deeply into the into your belly, into the dante, and feel feel your breath. Ah, nice and slow, long and slow and relaxed and smooth. And the primary thing though is that sum qua. Now go into your back foot, pick up the front heel, feel the ball of the, the right foot, set the right knee, push away and uh, spiral down and turn. Again, we're nice and easy. Beautiful. Okay. Feet parallel stance. Feel the balls of both feet, set both knees. And this one, we're going to be you spiral down and 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 you you as you do that, you reach up with your wrists. Notice as I spiral down and I reach up and then come down. And one hand comes in front, the other hand comes behind, and then back to center. And you reach up and then ah, spiral down and turn, right? So there's, so you want to really feel the weight of your arms. Your shoulders are very relaxed. And ah, so you're sinking down. So in this one, you can uh, sink to either leg. And you can shift them, so, or you can stay in one leg. So right now I'm in my right leg and just releasing from the quad as I'm doing this. So, and then on my left leg. So in this, you're feeling the ball setting the knee, you're turning, you're releasing. So now we're going back and we're going back and forth between the legs. You feel like your, your arms are like wet towels and you're just throwing them up and they're flopping down. Very nice and relaxed, letting go of muscular tension, opening the shoulders, opening the chest. Each time you go out, you're reaching out and you're feeling the connection between your between uh, your shoulder blades as you do that, feeling the arms connected and then you disconnect. And there is a, a constant uh, pulsing that's going on there, but it's varying. Good, and relax. Good, just let them hang for a moment, just allow them to unwind. And just feel the, 
the energy moving in your arms, feel it in your hands. Yeah, now we're going to feel it the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the left. And to feel yourself sinking into the left qual. Notice that my butt is not going out past the, my foot. So what I'm not doing is this, I'm not rocking to the side, I'm spiraling down so that my, my body is, is inside the, the foot and feeling it over the ball of the foot. So on the inside of my, my left foot now, and then now I'm going to push away, come up to the center and feel myself centered and fifth weighted 50-50. So just feel into, into that and now spiral down to the right and feel yourself sinking into the right quad, reloading up that right leg. Now back to center and feel yourself, both legs are yin now, they're sinking down. Now sinking into the left leg, loading that up and then coming up and both legs are young. They're pushing away from the earth and just feel that expansion, but feel it, you're connected to the balls of your feet. You're feeling the knees set and then spiral down to the right and feel yourself sinking there and back to center and feel both yin, feel yourself swung. Now go to the right side and spiral down to into the right qual, feel that. So, and then up to coming up and feel the weight 50, 50, pushing away both young and then spiral down to the left, sinking into the left qual and then back to center. And then the right qual sinking in and then up, feel and then spiral down to the left. And then back to center. Now put your right foot forward. And we're going to go between the feet. We're going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down, sink into the left leg, turn, and then feel the ball of the right foot. Push your right knee forward, set that, and turn back to center. Left foot, ball, knee, quad, releasing, turn, right ball, knee, quad, spiral down to the right, and then turn. Left ball, left ball, knee, quad, spiral down to the left, turn to the right. Right ball, knee, quad, spiral down to the right, and then turn back to center. And then reverse that, left ball, knee, quad, spiral down to the right, turn to the left. Right ball, knee, quad, spiral down to the left, and then turn to the right. And so we're, we're creating this kind of motion. So loading up the legs, setting the knees. So we're, we're constantly ball knee qual, establishing that. Put the left foot forward. Same idea here. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, turn to the left. Left ball knee qual, spiral down to the left. Turn back to center. Right ball, spiral down to the right, turn left, spiral left and turn. And continue. So we're, we're smoothly going between the legs, between the quads and maintaining root throughout both of these. So you're reclaiming lost territory here in the hip joints. You're learning to control your, your posture, your your motion with your hip joint. Now turn and go back the other way and spiral down. So we're creating a bit of a figure eight here. Set and just the real key here is ball knee, set the knee first and then spiral and then turn. Ball knee, set the knee, qua and then turn. So it's a sequence and learning to be able to create that sequence is, is a real key to being able to do that. Okay, step up. And wait 50 50. And then just want to hang out there a moment. <sighs> Feel the fingers. Feel your arms unwinding. 
Uh, okay, now let's do uh, the opening the jade pillow gate. So at the base of the skull, we're gonna lift the chin and reach down with the chin and lift and reach down and lift and reach down. Consciously opening up that suboccipital area, which then allows the Qing Shen, the spirit of vitality to flow, flow freely. Good. Okay. And reach out with your right arm, reach your head to the left and Really feel that elongation there, letting go of muscular tension, creating more internal space in your shoulder and in your neck. Rotate the arm around, find where it's doing you the most good, and then go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, back to center now. Pick up your arms, reach out to the side. This one's called side to side. And the idea is you're gonna reach out with your right hand without, without moving your butt, you're gonna reach out and extend. So the, you're feeling it along the torso as you do that. You feel the left ball, set the left knee and then reach out with the left hand. And then the right hand, so you're extending and opening, opening the connection, keeping your root, your stable base under you as you do this. Good, and relax. Now roll the head, exploring the range of motion in your neck, reaching with the crown of your head. So you're elongating your spine, you're elongating your neck vertebrae as you do this, and turn the other way, reach. Good. And now, keep your arms relaxed and hanging, and we're going to do shoulder rolls. And the idea is you take your right shoulder and you lift it up and you roll it forward. Your whole body turns as you do that. Your torso turns and then you come back and bring your shoulder blades together and back opening the chest and then the left shoulder. And notice that my arms are just hanging by my sides and I come back, open and then right shoulder. And back and left shoulder. So we're really working the upper back. We're busting up some of the, the fixedness in the shoulder joint and in the upper back, reminding the body that it is capable of doing this weird kind of spirally thing. Good, yeah, relax. Okay, um, turkey head. Push your face forward and then pull back and forward and then pull back. So we're pivoting at the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull again. Good. And now we're going to roll down, you know, stack them up, stack up your vertebrae, and then roll down. Your knees are bent, 
You can feel the weight over the balls of the feet. And reach with the crown of your head as you do this. So as you, you're going down, you start with the cervical vertebrae, the neck vertebrae first. And you try to really do it one at a time, releasing. Use your breath to relax your, the muscles that you're using to support. Letting go that internal tension. Releasing down, letting go. And feel this, the, the pull all the way down your spine as you let go. Now go to the thoracic vertebrae, the upper back. And we're letting those go one at a time. And this is as best you, as you can as you can do. Where each time you do that, you get a better sense of, of each vertebra and what muscles are controlling your posture. Bring your chin to your chest and your hands down on your legs. You're really dropping straight down while keeping your, you know, the vertebrae, the lower vertebrae still are still stacked up. Now your lumbar vertebrae, the big ones at the base of your back. You still wanna keep it compact and close. Release your butt muscles and your leg muscles. Notice anything you get is getting tense, letting the weight of your body do the work for you. Okay, now straighten your knees and allow the weight of your body to hang, lengthening the backs of your legs. And as you inhale, come up a little bit, lift your torso and exhale, uh, drop down. You feel yourself going down a little lower each time you exhale, inhale and exhale. Continue. Each time you inhale, come up a little bit and then uh, drop down a little bit. Yeah, now bend your knees, sit down and come up. Stacking the vertebrae up, straightening your legs out a bit as you come up, starting with the lumbar. Now go to the thoracic vertebrae, stacking those up. Now the cervical. Relax, Just allow your body to sink, release, dropping down. Feel that energetic connection through your feet and into the earth. Feel the chi in your hands and your arms. Now let's come up and arch your back. Allow the weight of your arms to open the chest and the shoulders. Coming up. And then round your back. 
As you inhale, arch your back and open. And exhale, round the back. Inhale. So we're flexing and extending the spine, creating more spinal flexibility. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feeling into the firm foundation that's provided by your root, giving you the confidence to put your body in these strange postures. Good, bring your hands down. And now we're gonna do knocking on the door. Set your right elbow, the right, the knuckles of the right hand go back and then your left hand goes the other way and then you go with the switch hands. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Good, let them hang. Relax and feel the energy as it moves through the body. And you should be feeling it getting progressively more uh, fuller and also flowing more freely as we move through these exercises. Okay, now we're going to do the big circles. Inhale, arms come up, arch your back, arms come around, and exhale, sink, bend your knees, sink down, and arms come down, round your back, and then inhale, arch your back, and exhale, round the back, arms come down, Uh, now reverse it, inhale, arch the back, hands come up. Exhale, reach down and sink. Inhale, arch the back, exhale, round the back. Let's come up and relax. Let the arms hang. Allow them to unwind. Allow the, uh, the, the muscles, the connective tissue in the arm to release and untangle itself, letting go of any extraneous muscular tension. And as you do so, feel the increased chi flow.
and it's come up the center line, reaching out to the sides. Now notice that my elbows are dropped below the level of my wrists and my wrists are about shoulder height. Fingers are relaxed and make small circles moving from the rotator cuff. So you're reaching, notice that the arms are reaching out there, you're opening the chest, opening the shoulders and making very small controlled movements like you're drawing traveling, drawing traveling ovals with your fingertips. The shoulders are relaxed and so you are allowing the energy to move through the shoulders rather than generating the power with the shoulders. Okay, now palms up and go the other way. Good, and relax. Allow the arms to unwind. And by reclaiming lost territory, we're getting or unkinking the hose throughout the body while maintaining our energetic connection with the earth and the sky, the big chi. So as we do this, we're letting go of the insisted muscular tension and opening more internal space. Hands come up. Now reach up with your right hand, press down with your left, inhale. Reach, lengthen, and then exhale. Inhale, pressing up, reaching, lengthening, really feeling that opening, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now, as you're reaching up with your right hand, turn to the right and reach down with your left. So you're spiraling to the you're coiling to the to the right. And as you come down, you coil to the left. Reach and really feel that lengthening. We're creating a stronger structure here to support the chi flow. Good, now step out and reach back into center and then turn, reaching, lengthening and Yeah, 
back to center. And here you just want to rotate very slowly, rotate your forearms so your palms face forward. And as you inhale, you're rotating, turning so the palms face forward. And as you exhale, bring it back. Inhale. Arms are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, exhale. Very relaxed, but opening, feeling, feeling the lengthening of the tissues, feeling the tensegrity as you do that. A couple more. One more. Good. Now just relax, feel into that the posture, feel into the chi you've been generating. It's what's called lifting the sky. Bring your hands, uh, cup them under your navel. And as the hands come up, inhale. And then sink as you reach up, pressing upward, palms upward, reaching and drop down and sink into your, your posture. And then hold your breath for a moment. And then exhale. Inhale as you reach down with your fingers, opening up the joints, opening up the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, and exhale. Inhale. Rotate the palms up, sink as you press up, you're lifting the sky, sinking down, and exhale, reaching out, opening the shoulders, opening the, the arm, the chest, inhale, reach down, opening the arms, uh, exhale. Inhale. Hold, sink. Exhale. Reach. Inhale, reach with the fingers. And exhale, relax. Next one is embracing the moon. Hands at the uh, cupped under the Dantian, inhale, coming up, hold, 
And as you do that, bring your hands together as if you're looking at, you're looking at the moon. You're arching your back, hold your breath, reach up and exhale. Hands come down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, coming up, reaching. Hold the moon in your hands and arch your back. Hold your breath, reach. And exhale. Inhale, reach with the fingers open. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, coming up. Hold, hold your breath, reach. Exhale. Inhale, point, reach, open. And exhale, one more. Inhale. Hold the moon, reach. Exhale. Inhale, open. And exhale, relax. Step in. Take a deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Please have a seat. Uh, well, that tore me apart and put me back together, then tore me apart and put me back together. <laughs> I feel like I just came out of a den in Sweden, in, into the, the sauna, then out into the water. <laughs> that, that messed me up. That's a, so some colorful imagery there. <laughs> well, that, I, I, I was just going nuts. I mean, there was tension, there was tightness, and there was looseness. And, it was, it was everything wrapped into one. Beautiful. It's a bit of a workout. <laughs> Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. It's a nice Oof. set. Man. Any uh, questions, comments, thoughts? Scott. So um, since I drive all day, usually when I get home, I bend over to take my shoes off and my back kind of stretches back out. So I realize I should probably either be doing this a bit more in 
during the day or when I get home because I was definitely stretching my back out doing this, getting nice. a lot of pops. So that was that was very good. Nice. And it was good that I realized a couple I was doing a couple of these, maybe not perfectly, and uh, some that I haven't done in a long time. So thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick, for the recommend for the request. Great. Good idea. We get uh, yeah, Peter. Yeah, this was this was great. Uh, you know, I always like the the short version of reclaim lo reclaiming lost territory, and uh, you know, in my beginners class, some of my students really like a few of those practices. Um, and so this was really nice to do the expanded version. I particularly liked the progression where you were sort of turning and reaching forward and back, and then you stepped out and you did it much further. And I, I'm, I don't quite understand my own thought, but I had a sense that, you know, it's a mistake to think of that as a, as like a yoga stretch, that it, there's more, there's more negong uh, to that. And that that's really interesting how that, you know, how that posture, I think of it as a gesture, um, you know, sort of, of the whole, you know, body, mind, energy system, uh, what that does um doing it you know with your whole self more inner work is somehow particularly interesting uh that it's that definitely movement. a body mind body mind spirit integration going on there you're 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 in, you are um, enhancing the tensegrity of the system and which then creates a bigger vessel for the energy to move through so then you increase your tolerance of more and more chi because you got more places to put it. Okay. And so, uh, so it expands that. Nick, you had something. Yeah, no, I was going to say, and you're, to add to what you just said, that you're also getting the benefit, the extra boost you get when you, because it's a very easy place to feel opposing energies, right? It's a very, it, it just sends you right there. Amen. And little extra juice in your battery from that. Right. And it's also coiling. That particular exercise is coiling. So you're getting that spiral gin out of, out of the deal, too, which is kind of neat. Because <laughs> like the dragon a little bit. It cranks it up another level. It goes up yeah. to 11. Cranks it goes up, up to 11. 11. <laughs> this is great. You're it's explaining what I was just dimly <laughs> sensing. You know, it just felt like particularly potent and nice, uh, but you're explaining it. That's great. Yeah, you know, I love power. I don't love fighting. I love healing. I like. I don't want. I don't want to learn how to fight. I want to learn how to heal. <laughs> Terrific. You're, it's like Bruce Lee, the art of fighting without fighting. But. Uh... That uh, that that wonderful book that you, you gave me there, uh, Rick. Uh, the uh, uh, they shouldn't have killed his dog. You know, the, right. the line from that was the best. The best way to pretend to be a badass is to be a badass. And uh, so, and not, yeah. able to to be able to have this, then you can pretend if you need to. <laughs> well, as I always say, the best way to be a badass is to be a smart ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's good too. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. It's Thank, been, you. Uh, Thank you. Great. See you next time. Thank you, Thank you very much.